The hollow block has evolved to become one of the basic building materials in Philippine construction. Known as a concrete hollow block in architecture and construction circles, the hollow block is one of the most popular and most used building materials in Philippine modern history. But along the way, the hollow block has had its share of bashers. How did the concrete hollow block become popular as a building material? And why is it getting its share of haters? You can find these blocks practically everywhere in the Philippines. In subdivision houses, in commercial buildings, in institutional buildings, in office buildings, and even in sculptures. These hollow blocks have made their way into every aspect of Philippine construction. Now for everyone interested in materials, wall masonry is somewhat fascinating. The first concrete hollow block was designed in 1890 by Harmon S. Palmer in the United States. After 10 years of experimenting, Palmer patented the design in 1900. By 1905, an estimated 1,500 companies were manufacturing concrete blocks in the United States. During this time, U Arts trained William Parsons, a consulting architect, introduced the hollow blocks in the Philippines. Instead of mining for stones or cutting acres of forest, builders had finally figured out a way to fabricate their own materials for these parts of the structure. The concrete commonly used to make concrete blocks is a mixture of powdered Portland cement, water, sand, and gravel. This mixture results into a light gray block with fine surface texture and high compressive strength. The shapes and sizes of most common concrete hollow blocks have been standardized to ensure uniformity in building construction. And fundamentally, you know it's a hollow block when you see one. But why are the concrete hollow blocks considered problematic in the Philippines? Structural engineers and designers and architects sometimes consider hollow blocks problematic. There are several problems with the concrete hollow block. Hollow blocks tend to shrink, trap heat instead of letting it pass through portions such as walls, and sometimes change shape depending on moisture and temperature. We tend to see the worst during terrible situations like earthquakes. These are the reasons you sometimes see walls having cracks. But one of the root causes of the problem with concrete hollow block masonry in the Philippines is that despite being part of decades of masonry, hollow blocks remain a cottage industry in the Philippines, where makers create each block manually. This results in inconsistencies in each block produced. Because of this, hollow blocks ironically pose a threat to the integrity of structures in the Philippines. Maybe it is not valued enough in terms of quality because it is hidden behind the plaster and paint. These rectangular wall masonries are everywhere so we might as well start trying to improve its quality. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please hit the subscribe button to support more videos like this. If you have suggestions and comments, feel free to post them in the comment section. If you're wondering where we got our information, check out the description below for references that were really helpful in making this video.